Russian star becomes first to speak out on Vladimir Putin's invasion of Ukraine. Russia and Dynamo Moscow ace Fedor Smolov became the first Russian sportsperson to condemn his country's invasion of Ukraine on social media. The 32-year-old striker has amassed 45 international caps for the Russian national team, scoring 16 goals and contributing four assists since his international debut in 2012. He also played an instrumental role during his country's home World Cup in 2018, appearing in five matches as his side reached the quarterfinals of the tournament. However, the striker became one of the highest-profiled Russian athletes to condemn the aggressive actions of Vladimir Putin and the Russian troops. In a very brief but powerful post on Instagram, Smolov uploaded a black square with the caption No War. Following his short caption, Smolov also included a broken heart emoji alongside the Ukrainian flag. His Instagram post precedes two very powerful posts from Manchester City defender and Ukrainian international star Alexander Zinchenko. The city left back, who was playing for Russian side UFA before his move to the citizens, posted a photo of Putin alongside the caption, I hope you die the most painful suffering death, creature. His Instagram story was soon taken down, but not by him, as the 25-year-old claim Instagram took down and deleted his story. Before his post about Putin, Zinchenko made another powerful statement on social media, highlighting his concern and worry about the situation unfolding in his homeland. The whole civilized world is worried about the situation in my country, he posted on social media. I can't stay back and strive to put my point across. In the photo, my country. The country where I was born and raised. A country whose colors I defend in the international sports arena. A country that we try to glorify and develop. A country whose borders must remain inviolable. My country belongs to Ukrainians and no one will ever be able to appropriate it. We will not give up. Glory to Ukraine. UEFA are also expected to respond to Russia's embroiling violence and hostility towards Ukraine by stripping them off the Champions League final. Zenit St. Petersburg's Gazprom Stadium was initially scheduled to host the final of the most illustrious competition in club football this season. However, various sources understand the football governing body will relocate this season's final, although the possible location is yet to be decided. Following the evolution of the situation between Russia and Ukraine in the last 24 hours, the UEFA president has decided to call an extraordinary meeting of the Executive Committee for Friday 25 February at 10 o'clock set in order to evaluate the situation and take all necessary decisions, UEFA said in a statement. We are dealing with this situation with the utmost seriousness and urgency. Decisions will be taken by the UEFA Executive Committee and announced tomorrow. UEFA shares the international community's significant concern for the security situation developing in Europe and strongly condemns the ongoing Russian military invasion in Ukraine. We remain resolute in our solidarity with the football community in Ukraine and stand ready to extend our hand to the Ukrainian people.